hi everybody welcome back to avo tutorials before i start i would like to wish all of you a very happy happy new year Woohoo! i hope this year is going to be great for you and me and everybody in this world all the best and let's get this year rolling today we have something very cool i'm going to show you how we can create a custom menu button on your Google Sheets just like this and today's use case is removing duplicates checking all the emails in column A and then keep the unique rows you can have any function you like over here but just in today's use case I'm going to do duplicates so let me show you a quick demo right here you can see in column A there's a lot of duplicated emails like 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6 so when I click on this button you can see it's running the script and once I click OK it's going to remove all the duplicates and remain the unique rows. Before I go into the code, if you'd like to follow along, do feel free to click in the description down below. You'll be guided to this page over here and it does not cost anything because it's the new year. This is a new year present for me to all my subscribers and new viewers as well. It's new, but feel free to name a price however you like. If not, you can just put zero and then click I want this. You will definitely get a copy of this Google Sheet. All you have to do is click file, make a copy, and then you can follow along. Now let's jump to the code. So click extensions, click app script. Once you open up, you're going to see this bunch of code over here. The first function over here, it's called on open, is because I want it to run when I open this Google Sheet over here. So initially, you're not going to have this button, right? So let me just show you a quick look on how the original UI looks like. So when I click save and run, oops, oh yeah, okay. So it says it was deleted, it's okay. So now when I refresh this, you can see the button is gone, right? So this originally what you see in your sheets. Now we're gonna add that in and how we're gonna do that is to go to extensions, app script, and I'm going to paste my code back in and then click save and then click run. Awesome. Now when I go back here, you can see that it's been added. All right. Oh, let me just copy back a couple of duplicates so that, you know, we can do a demo later. All right. So on open function, like I mentioned, when you open up the Google Sheet, then you're going to use the spreadsheet app call and say get UI because basically what you're doing is to change up the UI the original UI of the Google Sheets right then what you're going to do is you're going to tell them you want to create a menu on the UI so that menu is custom menu this is the name of the button so this is the name of the button over here I called it custom menu if you would like to change up this button on how you're going to call it you can call button one you can call it menu you can call it function however you like then add item so add item is basically having the drop down function over here so mine is called remove duplicates you can change up this one over here however you like as well whatever you want to call it function one two three or whatever um, name or function that you are creating then the back part over here is the name of the function that is internal facing. So it, the code needs to be referenced. And my one is called remove duplicates. You can call it however you like. But just make sure once you change up here, the function that you're going to create later on, you have to be the same. So that the system knows that you are referencing this function. Okay, then I'm going to call add to UI. That's it. So this is the one that's adding the button. Then I'm going to add a function towards the button. If you do not want any function towards the button, you can just leave it as it is. But for me, I want to add in a remove duplicate function. So like I mentioned, I'm going to call back, reference back the same function. And then I'm going to use it on the current sheet. So on the spreadsheet app, the current active sheet that I'm using. Then what I'm going to do is collect all the data get all the data that's within this sheet okay and then store it store it within an object so I'm going to create an object to store all the unique emails in column one click 
because all the unique um is basically just checking column A. It is not checking column B. If you want to check column B, that's another code for it. But in this use case, it's going to check column A. Then it's going to store everything in a unique um object called unique emails. Then it's going to also once it's a unique email, then it's also going to store all the rows within another object called unique data. So it's going to check all the unique emails first. And once all of this is stored in there, then if I keep adding on um, emails, then it can check against it. Okay, so it's going to keep doing that. It's going to keep, it's going to loop through the data and only keep the unique rows that's based on the emails in column one. Okay, so it's like I mentioned, it's going to, once the email is unique, and it's true so if it's unique then yes it's going to store the rows of data within unique data within the unique data object once all of that is done then it's going to clear the sheet so it's going to basically what's going to do is going to like clear this out then it's going to paste back the rows of unique data that was stored early on after the checking was done okay so once of that has been pasted then the alert is going to pop up it's going to tell you hey your duplicates have been removed so this alert message you can definitely you know customize it for example now it's saying duplicates removed maybe i want to add in a, a little hooray for myself all right so i'm going to click save and i'm going to click run so okay now that's good I'm going to go back to my sheet. So now you know you can see that all the duplicates here. The code is only going to run if you click the remove duplicates button. So I'm going to click on it. Running script. Once I click see, see my alert message says hooray. I click OK and then boom. It's only going to show me my unique rows based on the unique emails in column A. So that's about it. And... Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I really hope that you like this tutorial. Please drop me comments down below as well. I would really appreciate that. Let me know any kind of automation solution that you'd like me to share. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.